Marianne Cope, also known as Saint Marianne of Maloka I, January 23, 1838 to August 9, 1918, was a German-born American religious sister who was a member of the Sisters of Saint Francis of Syracuse, New York, and administrator of its Saint Joseph's Hospital in the city. Known also for her charitable works, in 1883 she relocated with six other sisters to Hawaii to care for persons suffering Hansen's disease on the island of Maloka I and aid in developing the medical infrastructure in Hawaii. Despite direct contact with the patients over many years, Cope did not contract the disease. In 2005, Cope was beatified by Pope Benedict XVI. Cope was declared a saint by the same pope on October 21, 2012, along with Kateri Tekawitha, a 17th-century Native American. Cope is the 11th person in what is now the United States to be canonized by the Catholic Church. Life Birth and vocation Cope was baptized Maria Anna Barbara Koop, later anglicizing her last name to Cope. She was born January 23, 1838, in Heppenheim in the Grand Duchy of Hesse to Peter Koop (1787–1862) and Barbara Witzenbacher (1803–1872). The following year her family emigrated to the United States, settling in the industrial city of Utica, New York. They became members of the parish of St. Joseph, where Cope attended parish school. By the time she was in eighth grade, her father had become an invalid. As the oldest child, Cope left school to work in a textile factory to help support her family. Her father became naturalized as an American citizen, which at the time meant the entire family received automatic citizenship status. By the time their father Peter Cope died in 1862, the younger children in the family were of age to support themselves, so Maria pursued her long felt religious calling. She entered the novitiate of the Sisters of the Third Order Regular of St. Francis in Syracuse, New York. After a year of formation, Cope received the religious habit of the Franciscan Sisters along with the new name Marianne. She became first a teacher and then a principal in newly established schools for the region's German-speaking immigrants. Following the revolutions of 1848, numerous German immigrants entered the United States. By 1870, Cope had become a member of the governing council of her religious congregation. She helped found the first two Catholic hospitals in central New York, with charters stipulating that medical care was to be provided to all, regardless of race or creed. She was appointed by the Superior General to govern St. Joseph's Hospital, the first public hospital in Syracuse, serving from 1870 to 77. As hospital administrator, Cope became involved with the move of Geneva Medical College of Hobart College from Geneva, New York, to Syracuse, where it became the College of Medicine at Syracuse University. She contracted with the college to accept their students for treating patients in her hospital, to further their medical education. Her stipulation in the contract, again unique for the period, was the right of the patients to refuse care by the students. These experiences helped prepare her for the special ministry she next pursued. <laughs> Call to Hawaii In 1883, Cope, by then Superior General of the Congregation, received a plea for help from King Kalakaua of Hawaii to care for leprosy sufferers. More than 50 religious congregations had already declined his request for sisters to do this, because leprosy was considered to be highly contagious. She responded enthusiastically to the letter, I am hungry for the work and I wish with all my heart to be one of the chosen ones, whose privilege it will be, to sacrifice themselves for the salvation of the souls of the poor islanders. I am not afraid of any disease, hence it would be my greatest delight even to minister to the abandoned lepers. Cope departed from Syracuse with six other sisters to travel to Honolulu to answer this call, arriving on November 8, 1883. They traveled on the SS Mariposa. With Mother Marianne as supervisor, the sisters' task was to manage Kaka Ako Branch Hospital on Oahu, which served as a receiving station for Hansen's disease patients gathered from all over the islands. The more severe cases were processed and shipped to the island of Maloka I for confinement in the settlement at Kalawau, and then later at Kalaupapa. The following year, at the request of the government, Cope set up Malalani Hospital, the first general hospital on the island of Maui. 
Soon, she was called back to the hospital in Oahu. She had to deal with a government-appointed administrator's abuse of the leprosy patients at the branch hospital at Kakako, an area adjoining Honolulu. She told the government that either the administrator had to be dismissed or the sisters would return to Syracuse. She was given charge of the overcrowded hospital. Her return to Syracuse to reassume governance of the congregation was delayed, as both the government and church authorities thought she was essential to the success of the mission. Two years later, the king awarded Mother Marianne with the cross of a companion of the Royal Order of Kapiolani for her care of his people. The work continued to increase. In November 1885, Cope opened the Kapiolani home with the support of the government, to provide shelter to homeless female children of leprosy patients. The home was located on the grounds of a leprosy hospital because only the sisters were willing to care for children so closely associated to people suffering from leprosy. In 1887, a new government came into office. It ended the forced exile of leprosy patients to Molokai and closed the specialty hospital in Oahu. A year later, the authorities pleaded with Cope to establish a new home for women and girls on the Kalaupapa Peninsula of Molokai. She accepted the call, knowing that it might mean she would never return to New York. We will cheerfully accept the work, was her response. <laughs> Molokai In November 1888, Cope moved to Kalaupapa. She cared for the dying Father Damien, S.S., C.C., who was already known internationally for his work in the leper colony, and began to take over his burdens. She had met him shortly after her arrival in Hawaii. When Father Damien died on April 15, 1889, the government officially gave Cope charge for the care of the boys of Kalaupapa, in addition to her existing role in caring for the female residents of the colony. A prominent local businessman, Henry Perrine Baldwin, donated money for the new home. Mother Marianne and two assistants, Sister Lepoldina Burns and Sister Vincentia McCormick, opened and ran a new girls' school, which she named in Baldwin's honor. A community of religious brothers was sought to come and care for the boys. After the arrival of four brothers of the Sacred Heart in 1895, Cope withdrew the sisters to the Bishop Home for Leprous Women and Girls. Joseph Dutton was given charge of Baldwin House by the government. Death Cope died on August 9, 1918, due to natural causes. She was buried on the grounds of the Bishop Home. In 2005, her remains were brought to Syracuse for reinterment at her mother house. In 2014, her remains were returned to Honolulu and are enshrined at the Cathedral Basilica of Our Lady of Peace. <laughs> Legacy and honors 1927 — St. Francis Hospital was founded in Honolulu in her memory as a community hospital and to train nurses to work with Hansen's disease patients. 1957 — St. Francis opened the Child Development Center at the Honolulu Community Church. 1962. St. Francis Home Care Services was established, the first in Hawaii to specialize in home health care for Hawaiian people. 2005. Induction into the National Women's Hall of Fame. 2006. The Sisters of St. Francis chose to focus on long-term care, transferring the two facilities of St. Francis Hospital to a private board. The facilities are now known as the Hawaii Medical Center East in Laliha, and Hawaii Medical Center West in Eva. Both hospitals were closed at the end of 2011. In August 2012, the Queen's Health Systems agreed to acquire the former Hawaii Medical Center West and reopen the hospital in the fall of 2013. The St. Francis School was founded in Mother Marianne's honor in 1924, operating as a girls only school for grades 6 to 9. The community which Cope founded on Molokai continues to minister to the few patients afflicted with Hansen disease. The Franciscan Sisters work at several schools and minister to parishioners throughout the Hawaiian Islands. Beatification In 1993, Catherine Delia Mahoney was allegedly healed from multiple organ failure after praying to Marianne Cope for intercession. On October 24, 2003, the Congregation for the Causes of Saints declared Mother Marianne to have been heroically virtuous. 
In April 19, 2004, Pope John Paul II issued a papal decree declaring her venerable. On December 20, 2004, after receiving the unanimous affirmation of the Congregation of the Causes of Saints, Pope John Paul II ordered a decree to be issued authenticating this recovery as a miracle to be attributed to the intercession of Mother Marianne. On May 14, 2005, Marianne was beatified in Vatican City by Pope Benedict XVI in his first beatification ceremony. Over 100 followers from Hawaii I attended the beatification ceremony, along with 300 members of Cope's religious congregation in Syracuse. At the ceremony, presided over by Cardinal Jose Sariva Martins, CMF, the Hawaiian song, Makalapua, a favorite of Cope, was sung. Her feast day was established as January 23 and is celebrated by her own religious congregation, the Diocese of Honolulu, and the Diocese of Syracuse. After the announcement by the Holy See of her impending beatification, during January 2005, Blessed Marianne's remains were moved to the motherhouse of the congregation in Syracuse. A temporary shrine was established to honor her. By 2009, the erection of a marble sarcophagus in the motherhouse chapel was complete. Her remains were interred in the new shrine on her feast day of January 23. In 2007, a statue of her was erected at St. Joseph's Church in her native Utica, whose parish school she had attended in her childhood. Canonization On December 6, 2011, the Congregation for the Causes of Saints found that a second miracle could also be attributed to the intercession of Blessed Marianne. This finding was forwarded to Pope Benedict XVI by its secretary, Cardinal Angelo Amato, for papal approval. On December 19, 2011, Pope Benedict signed and approved the promulgation of the decree for Marianne's sainthood and she was canonized on October 21, 2012. A relic was carried to Honolulu from her mother church. After Father Damien, Cope is the second person to be canonized who had served in the Hawaiian Islands. She was both the first beatification and the last canonization under Pope Benedict XVI. In 2014, the Church announced that the remains of St. Marianne would be reinterred at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Peace in Honolulu, which was undergoing an extensive renovation. This is a more convenient location for the faithful than the Kalaupapa National Historical Park on Maloka I, where access is primarily by plane or mule train. She sometimes attended Mass at the cathedral and it was where Father Damien was ordained. The Franciscan convent in New York which held her remains has had to move to a new location because its former buildings needed extensive repairs. Topic: <inaudible> Ecumenical veneration. Cope is honored jointly with Saint Damien of Molokai on the liturgical calendar of the Episcopal Church USA. Their shared feast day is celebrated on April 15. In arts and media Paul Cox directed the film Molokai, the story of Father Damien Mother Marianne was portrayed by South African actress Alice Cridge. Father Damien was portrayed by David Wenham. See also List of American saints and beatified people